This is Benjamin Loloju, Save the Elephants GIS researcher and tracking manager. Such a pleasure to present to you from my hometown of Oldoniro, as you can see from the background. I'm going to tell you about the problems we have here, which is a problem for the people and for the elephants. But first of all, I'm going to tell you about myself. So this is where I grew up in this uh, Manyata and it's been amazing. It's been changing over the years and I grew up in this area not knowing that I will ever go to school but this is now I'm actually living a dream because I went to school um, through elephants and through Save the Elephant Scholarship program. I started as a young boy, um, very, very interested about looking at footprints of elephants close by our home area here when they go through this corridor. And so every morning I am very keen to go and study the patterns of their footprints, not knowing that 20 years later, this is like a map. And now I am actually working on analysis and movements about these elephants. How has that come to reality? <coughs> looking at that in my mind and now looking at their actual movement through this landscape. So it's just been amazing and it's been a dream really. Oldoniro is in Isolo County, which is situated between Samburu and Laikipia. As we are seeing in other parts of Africa and across Kenya, population growth is increasing rapidly alongside urban development. Oldoniro has not been any different. Before it used to be one of two buildings, but now we can see all these buildings around us. Save the Elephants 20-year tracking data has enabled us to identify key wildlife corridors and Oldoniro is a lifeline connector between Samburu and Laikipia. Sadly, the Oldoniro Elephant Corridor is under major threat from human encroachment. We are on the south side of the Oldoniro town and this is actually the corridor where the elephants are using at the, at the moment. But first of all, meet my colleague David Dabale. Hi everyone. And so our tracking data has shown that <coughs> over the years, this, the north side of the corridor is completely blocked by settlements. So this is what the elephants are using at the moment. And this is also under major threat because it's 75% blocked. Just today, mm. so fresh this morning, wow. maybe even seven. Look at that. So this just shows you how much elephants are actually using this particular corridor. So this is one of the corridors that we have to protect by all means, because looking at this, it just shows you how frequently they are using, whether it's wet, whether it's dry period, they are using this corridor. The other major threat to elephants is Oldoniro's devastating erosion gullies. And so these are the erosion gullies along Oldoniro Corridor. These gullies are formed because of overgrazing by livestock. Grass is what keeps the soil together. However, the goats pull out the roots so when it rains, the soil is washed away. So we have seen the problem of human encroachment along the corridor, and now this, uh, this is another problem which is extensive in Oldoniro. It's incredible or even horrifying to think that these elephants used to go across these gullies. And now, because it's already unpassable, they are now changing their pathways, and now where they are using is just slightly north of us, so we will visit that location. But in the meantime, I will try to go down and go through this gully where they used to pass four years ago, and then we'll try to check one that a baby elephant fallen into it. Oh God, uh, how, how they used to go through this is unbelievable. Ooh. Ooh. I hope I don't fall. So two years ago, a baby elephant fell into this erosion gully and uh, 
the family tried to get the baby out, uh, going round around these erosion gullies, but they couldn't. So the community conservancy rangers here at Old Oniro were able to rescue the baby, and thankfully the next day the baby got reunited with the family. Oh, not sure if I managed this, but we try. So at the moment, this is where the elephants are going through. Uh, we can see it's, uh, it's better than where we are and where they used to be. And they are such intelligent animals. So at the moment, this is the crossing point, but it's still so difficult. I save the elephants. We are trying to come here, educate people about land restoration measures, try to tell them about uh, livelihood measures because I think this is driven by the livelihood of livestock keeping, but there are sustainable measures that people can do, like keep camels instead of goats. And so we hope in future that something can be done here so that both uh, wildlife and livestock and people can be safe going through this corridor. Corridors are a lifeline. Uh, when it comes to elephant movements and migrations and their survival. So David Dabalen, my colleague, is going to tell you about the importance of, of these corridors and what we are doing about them. Those trails that actually connect one safe place to another are really critical to be saved. And that's the only way wildlife can actually move and you know, have the, you know, sort of, uh, the freedom uh, and, 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 you know, live their life, which is, you know, breeding, um, dispersal of the seeds, creating these parts, and going from one end to another, especially an animal like elephant. So these corridors are so critical uh, to wildlife survival. So we really have to do anything to sort of make sure that they're there. What has been done um, in the last few years about these corridors is that we have sat down under trees with communities, with government, with NGOs, other NGOs, to sort of tell people that, you know, as human population is growing so much, we really have to do something because, you know, we feel like all the sort of um, dispersal areas for wildlife, you know, all the wilderness is shrinking because of, you know, this expansion of uh, people. So that is why we have to sit down and talk uh, through Maybe 40 years ago, this was not really important. This was not actually a concern. But today, where we're hitting something like 6 billion people on the planet, we really have to talk about wildlife issues. This is because of overgrazing. This is because the land has been trashed. And, you know, the land has become so bare. So what we, you know, what is needed here is so much civic education about why these gullies are here, why we need to protect these corridors, because if we actually block these corridors, the human wildlife conflict will be at its highest in this place. And this is simply because the elephant needs to get from the lowland up to Laikipia, and the, you know, one of the routes is actually here. Holding regular meetings with communities that live near the corridor is one way of protecting these crucial elephant passageways. I put Madame Mogura and whatever the weather in the old Mia. Lucium then at the Major Gritish, a guy on Gorota, a papa again, and I am the reverse of wind. You'll deliver the one legend with Yayana, Kaikan and Anamo, Jamba Yale. What an again law in the little Jamba in the guy image. That is so impressive to hear their views about these corridors, about what we are seeing in our tracking data. It's amazing, really, they, they know on the ground that this is happening, about the erosion gullies, about the blockage of these corridors, and they are promising that Together we can do something about it. And this is what gives us hope at Save the Elephants and uh, across Northern Kenya. So we hope that we can do more of these meetings and uh, we, we see how to continue protecting our elephants and other wildlife in this region. We are in another part of Oldoniro Corridor. I want to share some of my research with you which shows that elephants are changing their behavior as a result of these corridors being blocked. 
So the map we are seeing here shows uh, elephant movement in Oldonyolo Conservancy, all shown by red. <laughs> Look at this little goat here. <laughs> but anyway, this is elephant movement in Oldonyolo, and all the yellow is human settlements. So this is uh, the town center shown by yellow, yellow uh, dots. And then all the red is the elephant movement for the past 20 years from our tracking data. So um, this used to be the corridor on the north side of the center, which you can see most of the movements. But elephants have shifted because of all these human settlements and population growth coming up at this Oldonero town. So now the elephants are using this other route south of the Oldonero town. And so what they, it happens is that uh, over the years, they, they, they have known that ah, humans have put fences up there, they have blocked there, the erosion gullies. So they have shifted their movements further south, where we are at the moment. And so th this just shows their level of uh, intelligence and uh, perception. And so we have done so much research regarding this. And uh, on this bit of the map, normally elephants come at this area. You see lots of red movement here. They relax for a, for a moment. It's like telling their babies, ah, let's gather energy to cross this risky landscape. So they gather until it is nighttime, it's, it's dark, and then they cross at such speed through these Oldonero settlements on this other side. And the moment they reach this other side that is in Laikipia, they, they again move slowly and they relax. So uh, we will show more about this, but it is telling us about their behavior, how they perceive risk when they come to this human inhabited landscape. So this has really taught us so much and this is even when we talk to the community here they tell us about these corridors how this has been changing so it's all very clear on the back on the ground also so one of the ways we are looking at erosion gullies in this landscape and corridors and human settlement is through our aerial surveys and uh, this is so important to monitor the progress uh, of our corridors and how elephants are moving in northern Kenya. So I'm going to introduce you to Paul Kokiro, who has been trained by Save the Elephants to be the pilot. Over to you, Paul. Thanks so much, Benjamin. My name is Paul Kokiro. I was born in Old Nero. I loved flying when I was a little boy, thanks to Save the Elephants, that they took me to flight school in South Africa, and now I'm a pilot for them. Today we are doing a, a flight over at Oldonero to look at these devastating gullies that affect the elephant movements in and out of Oldonero, which is the main corridor. Let's fly. Flying over Oldonero is fascinating. It's great to get an aerial view of where I was born. But it's also incredible to see the damage. These erosion gullies look so terrible. It's hard to imagine elephants even being able to cross them. With the new, you know, sort of generation of conservationists like Benjamin, who was talking about the gullies, and he comes from here, there's so much hope because, I mean, there's so much uh, foundation uh, that they can actually work on. So in Old Neuro, I have so much hope uh, because there's so many young, um, educated, energetic um, students coming from here and more of, you know, sort of youth who are talking about this issue. I hope you have enjoyed this journey along Old Neuro Corridor. It's always fascinating to come to the ground, see what these elephants do in their everyday lives. Northern Kenya is still one of the great and fenced uh, wildernesses in Africa. It's changing, but the elephants movement don't have to. They are still roaming in this landscape. Thank you for your support. We are able to identify and protect crucial corridors and learn lessons that we will apply in other parts of Africa. <laughs>